Hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling blog tutorial. Today we're going to talk about debt service reserve accounts and how to model them. Uh, debt service reserve accounts are otherwise known as DSRAs, so you might have heard that term before. If you don't know what a DSRA is, I strongly recommend that you go to our website www.videofinancialmodeling.com and check out the blog which explains what a debt service reserve account is. In this tutorial video, we're only going to look at modeling a debt service reserve account. Okay. So the question asks, it says, find the 12 month DSRA requirement for December 2011, June 2012, and December 2012 based on the following debt service profile. Interest is at 6% per annum. The starting balance of the DSRA is 70. Okay. So what we're going to do, we've got a few things here. So firstly, we're going to, we've got the amortization profile of the loan, which is good. We're going to find out the interest on the senior debt amount. So let's go interest. And then we're going to go, so the interest is simply going to be the opening balance times the 6%. We're going to hard code that 6% in here. Usually we'd put it as an input. So 6% and then because it's a semi-annual period, we're going to divide by 2. Okay, that's going to be the simple interest for that period. Now you'll notice that we're going up in semi-annual periods and that's why we divide by 2. Okay, the next thing we're going to put in is the principal, which we already have. So this is our debt service we're building up. So our total debt service. Now debt service is defined in the project finance documents. So it might not be a simple case of taking your interest plus principal. Just be aware of that. So negative, the amortization above is going to give us our debt principal. And we've got our total debt service, which we'll just bold here. Okay, so what do we do with that total debt service? Now, we said we have a 12-month debt service reserve account. So what does that mean? It's a look forward debt service reserve account. So it says we're going to reserve 12 months of debt service from the following date. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go equals sum. Now, usually in our training courses, we do this as an offset function and sum the next two, which is equivalent to the 12 month debt service. Here, we're just gonna sum the next two columns. So we've taken that 24 and the 41 or 42 to get our 65.66. Okay, and we're just going to copy that across. So the next one for the 30th of June, 2012, we need a debt service reserve account balance or closing balance of these numbers. So you'll notice at the very end, we're gonna have one stub period, which is just gonna be a semi-annual look forward, basically. So we've only got the 10 there. Okay, so the debt service reserve account closing balance is this, we know that. So now we can simply do a corkscrew account. So let's go debt service reserve account, opening balance, Closing balance, okay, and we know that, I'm just going to copy and paste some of the formatting from up here, and we know that the opening balance is going to be equal to the previous closing balance. We know the closing balance has to be the above, okay, so we just worked out what the debt service reserve account closing balance has to be so now we can use that now up here in our question we said the starting balance of the debt service reserve account was 70 so we can actually hard code that figure in because it's a hard coded figure we're going to take it as blue so okay i won't worry about that formatting at the moment so like i said the opening balance is going to be equal to the closing balance of the previous period we're going to 
copy these ones across, so shift arrow across a few times and control R. Okay, and now this is our inflows slash outflows. Okay, so in this case our opening balance is 70. So what do we have to do to get to a closing balance of 66? Well, what we have to do is go this minus that. Okay, so the sum of these is going to be 66. So what does that mean? That means that cash is, if the cash is an outflow, it's going from the cash account into the cash flow waterfall. Okay, so in all these instances, there are outflow from the cash account. So we're going down in our debt service reserve account requirement as noticed by the balances at the bottom. Okay, I just want to point people to our free 30 minutes of advanced project finance training which you can get by clicking on the left hand corner or going to www.videofinancialmodeling.com slash project finance training. Thanks for joining us for this tutorial.